basically here you have, you've got, I call it two flower gardens, a very formal one with all the roses, and then one where we crop and strip rose. So um, the flowers uh, all go into the drying room, which you've seen, um, and get dried. So you're using two parts of the plant to make, to make these gins. Most gins will use one part, and that is what I call the bones, which is the dried botanics, the woody stems or the dried botanics into a basket with everything else. Yes, we do that. We use juniper, and we use coriander, and we use angelica root, and we use dried winter savory. So we're using the bones as well to make a base gin. Uh, then what you're doing is you take the fresh flowers and, or some of the fresh plant material. We do 35 different single plant distillates, singles, which I was doing before even thinking about gin. You know, it was just part of the journey that you make. And uh, you add that single plant distillate, for example, that would be the Pothica Rose or that's the Lavender. Uh, and it's clear white, you know, it's a pure distillate. And you add that to your gin, so you're still a pure white um, spirit, but you're a gin that has this very clean floral flavor. And then you take that away and you infuse it on petals, just as if you're making tea. But the petals that we use are no chemicals, the colour, we have that dry room is perfect, so the colours of the petals are intense, you know. Uh, and the cornflower, for example, we have to de-stem everything off the stamen because that would discolour the... So you're talking about a process that not a single machine has seen here. You know, everything is hand harvested, hand picked, um, dried and, and infused. So you're talking about a product that is crafted with love from the plants.